on the drug war, Malacanang insists the International Criminal Court cannot meddle with the investigations here. Speaking to CNN Philippines, presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the ICC cannot exercise jurisdiction over cases here if our own courts can and are willing to handle them. He says the president himself is even facing impeachment complaints here. Now this shows Philippine courts are able to prosecute cases. The ICC was never intended to be a court of first recourse. People who have complaints against extralegal killings must file before Philippine courts full stop. And as far as I know, there are now three pending cases in Philippine courts for extralegal killings, and the Supreme Court has acted on one. It has granted the writ of amparo in favor of um, victims in Payatas, and the Supreme Court has heard oral arguments on two. But Senator Laila de Lima believes otherwise. The senator says the government has basically adopted a policy of killing drug suspects. She adds, this is why the International Criminal Court cannot expect the Duterte administration to investigate alleged extrajudicial killings. The Senate is investigating the controversial mass dengue vaccine program. Lawmakers want to know if there was any irregularity in the procurement of the multi-billion pesos worth of vaccines. Our Rex Remito tells us what to expect. Three and a half billion pesos in taxpayers' money possibly wasted and tens of thousands of Filipino children now at risk. Now the Senate wants to dig deeper into the controversy surrounding the dengue vaccine, Dengvaxia. It all started when pharmaceutical giant Sanofi Pasteur revealed that vaccinated children who were never exposed to dengue are at risk of getting a serious disease. This prompted the health department to stop the dengue vaccination program. The Senate has already invited experts, health department officials, and former health chief Janet Garin. A former health official is accusing her of conspiring with Sanofi to hastily implement the program. It is highly inappropriate for a secretary of health to go to Paris and talk to the head of the pharmaceutical. But Dr. Julius Lecciones, executive director of the Philippine Children's Medical Center, comes to Garin's defense. The hospital is the one which directly procured the vaccines from Sanofi. Lecciones says Garin ordered her to do so. But he also explains the deal was never rushed. It also went through a proper bidding even if Sanofi was the only supplier. Pero kami sa PCMC, for the sake of transparency, pinili namin mag-competitive bidding dahil hindi naman din pinagbabawal sa procurement do ang mag-competitive bidding mas kinaisa lang ang supplier. Lecciones says he is ready to explain it all to the senators on Monday. Garin, meanwhile, has yet to confirm if she's attending the hearing. But the former secretary has said she is ready to face consequences if they prove she was at fault. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines. Pinasalamatan ni Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas Chairman Emeritus Manny V. Pangilinan si Pangulong Duterte sa naging tagumpay nila sa pagkuha ng co-hosting rights ng 2023 FIBA World Cup. Ayon kay MVP, nakatulong ang Pangulo sa naging bid. Isa rin kasi siya sa mga sumalubong sa FIBA officials nang magpunta sila sa bansa para sa ocular inspection noong Oktubre. Nagpasalamat din sa pangilinan sa mga fans na sumuporta gamit ang hashtag Play in 2023. Sa ngayon ay magpapahinga raw muna ang SBP at sa Enero na sisimulang plansyahin ang mga paghahanda para sa 2023 FIBA World Cup. Inyo, sa inyong data, sa inyong pag-post sa social media, uh, gusto ko rin magpasalamat kay President Duterte sa kanyang support uh, sa ating bid kasi no, nag nagpunta dyan ng Evaluation Commission, nag-meet ang Presidente kanila. So maraming salamat kay Presidente. No? Kakapasok lang na balita, gusto rin ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte na palawigin pa ng isang taon ang Marshall Law sa Mindanao. Ayon kay Executive Secretary Salvador Medaldea, pinirimahan na ng Pangulo ang isang sulat kaugnay sa hiling niyang extension. Bukas daw ito o bukas daw ito nakatakdang ipadala sa Kongreso. Unang direklara ang Marshallo noong Mayo at pinalawig hanggang katapusan ng taon. Ibinasura ng Court of Tax Appeals ang tax evasion case ni Jean Catherine Napoles, anak ng umunay pork barrel queen na si Janet Napoles. 
sa resolusyon ng CTA 3rd Division, wala raw sapat na ebidensya ang kaso sa nakababatang na polis. Matatandang nagugat ang kaso ni Jean matapos ang assessment ng BIR na may 17 milyong pisong tax itong hindi nabayara ng 2011. Para sa ibang maaksyong balita, patuloy lang pong manood sa news5.com.ph. Ako si JV Arsena, magandang... Nagpahayag ng full support ng Administrasyong Duterte sa kampanya ng samang basketball ng Pilipinas na maging co-host ng 2023 FIBA World Cup. Maaksyon si Lin Olavario. We'll pack our sta stadiums, we'll break attendance records, and we will play louder than ever. Yan ang ipinangako ng samang basketball ng Pilipinas sa big presentation para sa co-hosting ng 2023 FIBA World Cup. Katuwang ng bansa sa bid ang Japan at Indonesia. If FIBA were to achieve its vision of making basketball the most popular sport in the world, I hope FIBA could be a pioneer, pioneering leader in a region which offers the best potential market for basketball to grow. Our three-country bid creates this unique opportunity. Ipinakita ng bansa ang paghahanda ng iba't ibang infrastruktura ang gagamitin, gaya ng Smart Araneta Coliseum, Mall of Asia Arena, at Philippine Arena sa Bulacan. The District 30 principle creates zones in Metro Manila where the playing and training, and training venues, emergency and medical services, and non-computation venues are all within just 30 minutes of the accommodation for the team's officials in the FIBA family. Ang administrasyon, full support sa kampanyang ito. The President immediately gave his firm support to host the bid for 2000, to, to host the games in 2023. No ifs, no buts. Yes, ma'am. He said, I will support you. I was told that Ibinida rin ng Department of Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano ang planong magpatayo ng railways at highways para maibsa ng problema sa trapiko. Ang FIBA naman nagpasalamat sa Pilipinas, lalo na kay Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte na naglaan ng oras para makipagkita sa kanila. Makakalaban ng Pilipinas, Japan, Indonesia, ang Russia, Turkey at partners na Argentina at Uruguay sa hosting bid. Sa Desyembre, dedesisyon na ng FIBA Central Board kung sino ang mag-host ng prestiyosong torneo. Umaaksyon, Lynn Olivario. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Lahat na nag-tweet, nag-post at ano pa man ang ginawa nyo para sumuport sa sabid natin sa 2023. Maraming maraming salamat. Sana napaligaya namin ang buong Pilipinas, lalo na ng mga basketball fans natin. So... Now the work begins. Uh, we have seven years uh, to prepare for 2023. Uh, but we're happy to be here Geneva, sa FIBA headquarters. So congratulations to you all and thank you very much. The door is not only the Pilipinas, but also the whole country for the 2023 FIBA World Cup na gagawin sa bansa. Ayon kay Senador Sherwin Gatchalian, malaking oportunidad ito para makita ng mundo ang pagmamahal ng mga Pilipino sa basketball. Hinamon niya ang national team na maghanda ng mabuti para makakuha ng medalya sa tournament. Nanawagan naman si Senador Sani ang gara sa gobyerno na manguna sa seguridad ng event. Sana rin daw ay maayos ang transportation system para mainganyo ang mga karatig bansa na pumunta sa Pilipinas para sa World Cup. Ngayon pa lang, inaabangan na raw ng Presidential Communications Operations ang FIBA World Cup sa 2023. Patunay lang daw ito na unti-unti nang nakikilalang Pilipinas sa larangan ng international sports. Malaking tulong din umano ang tagumpay na ito para sa turismo ng bansa. Muli ring pinuri ni Communications Secretary Martin Andanar ang samahan basketball ng Pilipinas at ang Chairman Emeritus na si Manny V. Pangilinan. Para sa iba pang maaksyong balita, patuloy lang pong manood sa news5.com.ph. Ako si J.P. Arsena, magandang hapon. Ito ang suporta sa pagkakakuha ng Pilipinas sa hosting rights ng FIBA World Cup 2023 ng mga dati at pricing Gila Stars. Ang dating Gila's captain na si Jimmy Alapad, binati sa samahang basketball ng Pilipinas o SBP Chairman Emeritus, Manny V. Pangilinan sa naging tagumpay. Anya, basketball is coming home. Hindi naman mapigilan o napigilan ng NLEX rookie na si Kiefer Ravenna ang excitement. Pati si Kobe Paras na nasa Amerika ay hindi rin nakalimot sumuporta. 
Sa ibang balita, nanawagan si Vice President Lenny Robredo na manindigan laban sa extrajudicial killings at iba pang human rights violations kasabay ng pagdiriwang ngayon ng International Human Rights Day. Sa pahayag ng Vice Presidente, sinabi niya na bahagi na ng kasaysayan ng pagsulong ng karapatang pantao. Sinasalamin ng saligang batas ang karangalang ito pero hinahamon daw ito sa kasalukuyang panahon. Kaya sana raw ay maging pagkakataon ng pagdiriwang ng araw ng karapatang pantao para maigtingin ang determinasyon na maging isang lipunan na kumikilala sa dignidad, kalayaan at karapatan ng bawat Pilipino. Para sa iyo pang maaksyong balita, patuloy lang pong manood sa news5.com.ph. Ako si J.V. Arsena, magandang hapon. Country wins its bid to co-host the 2023 International Basketball Federation World Cup with Japan and Indonesia. 2023 FIBA World Cup has been trending online with elated fans taking to Twitter to express their excitement. Tagig Pateros representative Pia Cayetano, who was among those who led the bid, tweets a photo of herself holding a Philippine flag after making their pitch in Switzerland. Basketball star Kiefer Ravenna anticipates a crazy run for the World Cup in the Philippines. Senator Joel Villanueva congratulated Cayetano and the Philippine delegation for winning the bid. Also on Twitter, this one says he's sure FIBA will have no regrets in choosing the Philippines. 16 matches will be played among the 32 countries participating in the tournament at the Araneta Coliseum and the Mall of Asia Arena, while the 50,000-seater Philippine Arena in Bukawe, Bulacan will be used as the venue for the semifinals and the finals. And together this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we'll find out more about our bid, the Philippines bid to host the FIBA World Cup 2023, all along with, of course, Japan and Indonesia. But before we talk about 2023, katulad ko naaalala niyo pa po ba yung hashtag puso 2019. You remember? You remember our bid then? Um, let's put ourselves in that setting. Japan, tama yun, di ba? It was in Japan, and we publicly asked um, support, help, especially from the netizens to rally behind us in, of course, our our dream to host then the FIBA World Cup 2019. And it was such a proud moment. My favorite would be, of course, Jimmy Alapag giving that speech. Lou Diamond Phillips, nabita natin, nagsalita din. Sino pa po ba? Um, most MVP, Coach Chot was there, of course, likewise. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, like, Yan, yun yung mga proud moments. So kahit hindi po tayo nanalo, and China actually got the hosting for the World Cup then, it was still very, it was such a momentous event, it was a very proud moment for all of us. And that's something that we hope to continue. Sabi nga nila, di ba po ba, e laban lang ng laban. So ngayon that we are bidding for FIBA 2023, we hope to have that kind of support with all of you guys, of course, behind it. Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. And of course, joining us today are our good friends from Samang Basketball ng Pilipinas. Our uh, president of SBP, Mr. Al Panilio is with us. Magandang hapang, Sir Al. You'll hear from him later on. Pero nais pong bumati sa inyo ngayong araw na to. Uh, to welcome everybody also is Executive Director, Mr. Sonny Barrios. Good afternoon. Sir Sonny, please. Ah. Thank you, Risa. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. No, uh, salamat. Uh, Nalatanyo kami dalawa lang ni Al. Kasi sa gandang lalaki, ako yung mas nakatataan na niyang kapatid. Bakit <laughs> <laughs> natatawa kayo? <laughs> anyway, uh, we requested your presence this afternoon to seek your once again valuable support, no? Yung nasabi ni Risa na trending tayo nung uh, nag-beat tayo. Alam nyo, pinanggalingan pa nun yung most valuable fan award natin sa Sibin no 2014. So medyo may re reputation na tayo globally sa ganyang uh, 
uh, fan support. And we ask you to continue the tradition and uphold our reputation na talagang basketball crazy country tayo. Now, uh, I'm sure you know that next year we will host the 3x3 World Cup. So, it's a, I don't even want to call it a baby step towards hosting the 2023 5 on 5 World Cup. Because the 3x3 is an equally important World Cup. In fact, uh, it's going to be an official Olympic medal game for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. So magandang uh, manalo tayo sa December 9th or may award sa atin sa December 9th that will really boost all our efforts to host the most prestigious tournaments of FIBA both under the 3x3 format and the 5x5. Kaya pakitulungan ninyo ang SPP, ang Bayan, to announce to our watching public and uh, millions of basketball fans to help in this trending effort na sinasabi ni Risa. Uh, it will really be a big boost when we go to Geneva over the weekend and uh, win the bid. Uh, yung ating hashtag na play it louder than ever. Uh, let's popularize the, uh, that as early as we can. So yun lang po, uh, magtulungan ho tayo na ipublicize itong effort natin. And I'm sure uh, kahit sa atang contest, pati Miss Universe, number one tayo, pagbutuhan eh, di ba? Maaring hindi na nalo sa actual contest, pero when it comes to this kind of especially social media support, uh, we always end up the winner. No? Salamat. Uh, thank you. Mr. Sonny Barrios, thank you very much. Keep it up, di ba? Totoo naman talaga, nung uh, Po sa 2019, nag-trending po tayo and kung nagawa natin noon, kaya natin kung ulitin yun at mas higitan pa this time around. This time to tell us about the FIBA 2023 campaign, please, SVP President Mr. Alvan Livio. Thank you. Thank you, Risa. First of all, thank you for wearing the right color to the... Oh, sorry, Pinito. <laughs> <laughs> Pinito, uh, that's the same shirt he wore yesterday. <laughs> No, but, but even our chairman, MVP, said, I think what, uh, what the Lasalle did in the campus was really magnanimous. No? It, was a, it was a great message of sportsmanship. And for that, we, 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 we thank you. Um, that's, that's what sport is all about. I mean, you know, I was just I have a long, a long chat with uh, Kinito this morning. Not talking about